Goodbye and good riddance. I guess I'm tuning in right now. Hey guys, welcome back. We just finished the level again. With a three. With forks and knives, forks and knives. Because I decided, you know what? I'm going to do Cool Cave instead. Don't worry, I will do Freeze Lake. But I'm going to save that for the last portion of the video because the, that one, uh, just no, no. It is a nightmarish level. I don't like it. And honestly, it is a level I'm probably going to fail a lot at. And I'm going to save the failure for the ending portion of the video. So anyway, let's get started with Cool Cave. Or CC for short. Not to be mistaken for CC's Pizza, of course. Alright, now, if I remember right, we do not want to pick that new power-up yet. We do get a new type of power-up here. As you might be able to tell with the little cyan-colored bomb here. It is tempting to pick it up, but do not. Wait until you get up to this platform here that's bombable. Bomb it. Come up here and grab these two power-ups, the crystal and the heart. Then proceed to collect the ice power-up. I think there's actually one over here, and if I don't remember to collect it now, I'm going to forget it. Okay, good. Alright, now. These guys here, we cannot destroy them. No matter how many times we throw bombs at them, they will forever live. Additionally, they can stretch their heads out and just, ugh. Oh, to show their nasty, disgusting vertebrae. But as gross as that is, of them giving us an x-ray vision of their insides, without the x-ray, of course, they are handy little stinkers. They, we can use them as platforms, which is kind of cool. You know, it's it's a lot like that. There's a portion in the Great Bay Temple and then Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, where you can actually freeze, your, freeze the enemies and you can use them as platforming to get to higher places. So it is, a, it is a nice little concept, I, I have to say. Well done. Well done, Bomberman team. Well done. That was a well, very well executed concept. Unfortunately, it is a level I don't really care for because it's a pain in the butt having to collect... Remember to collect a power-up after you do stuff. And then go back and collect the power-up so you can do more stuff with that power-up only. You know, it, it would be nice if, Like, this is like a complaint I can say that's legitimate. I wish that if you collected power-ups within each level, you had the option of rotating and switching between them. I know that you, I know that in like some of the newer games, you can actually you'll get like multiple power-ups, and you'll actually be able to rotate between them. I kind of wish they had done that here, but I guess that was their way of learning in the new game that they made, which I don't remember which one it is. I think it. I remember watching somebody play it. I think it was my dad. He was playing like a GameCube version of it. I don't know what it was called. I just know that it was a Bomberman on the GameCube. I haven't played it yet. It looks like it looked like it'd be a lot of fun to play, but I guess I'll never know because I think he ended up selling it or something. It's kind of a bummer to me or selling it. He ended up trading it in, I think, just because he ended up the GameCube he was playing on. I think finally gave out, so it's kind of a bummer. Oh well, dude, what are you doing dropping in the freaking ice water, man? Didn't you learn your lesson in the volcano? Extreme temperatures equals no go. I know you can see through this, but this particular, like, liquid, but you do not want to jump in it. Uh-uh, man. No, no, no. Don't want to do it. Don't want to do it. Don't want to do it. Woo! Get out of my way, you dummy. All right, stretch your neck out. Oh, there you go, buddy. Oh, of course I blast myself like an idiot. Like an idiot, man. Whoa. Stay on there, man. How to platform. We do not want an episode of How Not to Platform. We already have one of those. My gosh, that Banjo 2 episode? Good lord. Kudos to any of you who tolerated it and stuck it through. And bonus cookie points for those who w went in and didn't laugh. Of course, then again, I'm not really that funny, so I guess I'll, be get, I'll get to baking some cookies because I'll probably have a lot to bake. <laughs> no, but seriously, though. Oh. That was a pain. That was very painful, even for me, just to sit through and edit. I was like, "Oh my gosh, man!" I, I and I remember I said something like, "I died like nine times, I think, or something like that." Nine times. Nine times. That is true. I actually failed that portion of the game, the Icicle Grotto, nine freaking times before I finally got Kazooie up to the top of the cliff. And anyway, why am I talking about that right now? We're in Bomberman Hero Man, seriously. I mean, I know it's kind of relative, you know, because it's, it's in that game, we're actually in the icy side of the Hellfire Peaks, whereas in this game, we're in the icy planet, Mazone Planet. But seriously, those who are watching this, they're like, I don't care about that. I don't care about, all I care about is Bomberman Hero, dude. 
I care about what you're doing, and if you don't explain well enough what it is you're doing on screen, how the hell am I going to know how, what the heck I'm supposed to do? Or how am I supposed to know that w the way you're doing it is the most efficient way? Spoilers, it's probably not. You might, you might, you might consider, uh, if you're looking for the most efficient speed running uh, route, you might not want to use my route. Especially if you don't have to 100% the game, then yeah, you definitely don't want to use me as a guide for that. <laughs> uh, seriously, dude, your eyelash attack is getting old. Seriously, it's getting older than cottage cheese that's gone bad. So you know what? Oh, dude, 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 dude. That did not just happen. Freeze! I've always wanted to say that. <laughs> Okay, now that I've had my fun, my stupidity fun, what do you say we finish this level? Huh? Bump! I did it! With icy forks, icy forks. No, no, I want to go to area two, but you know what? We gotta do it. It's a pain in the booty. You know, real pain in the booty. But we gotta do this. And those who have never played this level, you will soon feel the pain that myself and many other Let's Players have felt trying to do Freeze Lake. Here we go. Oh, and guess what? Yep, it's an Aquamarine level. The Bama Marine! Yeah! I guess that's something to look forward to. It's underwater. But you guys will soon see why I don't like this level. Welcome to torture. Pure and just straight up torture. It, it's it's the raw torture, you know. You're, you're not getting any co candy coating. This is a this is a very nightmarish level. I need to stop stutter. The reason this level is so nasty is if you look up above, you'll notice that there's a giant block of white ice that kind of sticks out because it's slightly discolored. If you come in with a certain distance of it, it's going to start falling. And what makes it such a pain in the butt is it is a homing missile, like right there. These freaking turds, these freaks of nature, they are. God forsake their gosh forsaken missiles. I'm trying to I'm trying to avoid cursing because I just uh, I'm 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 gonna be doing a lot of it if I if I let it out now if I let the cat out of the bag now. But seriously, and that's the only the first one. There are would you please thanks. There are multiple moments where there's going to be chunks of giant ice that is in the ceiling that will fall and it will home in on Bomberman. How the hell giant blocks of ice cubes do that? I don't even know. It's like he... It's like... I don't even know. I, like, look at that. Look at that. Look at these jerk jokers, man. Sons of biscuit ears sitting there. Oh, there's a gnome over here. Come on, come on, come on. Come get me. That's right, you son of a biscuit eater. Yeah, you're not gonna get me. Cracker Jack. You Ritz Cracker. Oh, sorry. I, th this is why I hate this level. It's because there's a lot of like back and forth you gotta do if you want to dodge all these nasty white blocks of ice. Yet at the same time, you have to take time to actually like kill all these white crystals. So for those, um, I mean, it's not so bad if you're patient and you're careful with your strategic strategizing. Because you know, if you if you go at a certain angle as they try to, because you know, gravity's gonna work against them. But if you're impatient and you want to finish this level quickly, it is every person's nightmare. I honestly, legitimately, would love to see a speedrun of this level 100%ing it. Or maybe not even 100%ing it, you, you just have to earn a 5. That's all you gotta do, and I, I think you, if you destroy all these white crystal things that are floating... Uh, white crystal things, white snowflakes... They're not even snowflakes, they're like little... hexagon-shaped, teardrop icicles. I don't even know what these are, these are not even ice cubes. Actually, you know what, these look like... Frozen Rupees. There you go. That'll work. Yeah, Frozen Rupees. Yeah, these Frozen Rupees, I think, will give you extra points if you destroy them. I Don't quote me on that. I don't think that's entirely true, but I'm thinking you do not need to destroy all of them. Let alone any of them, to be exact. But I'm just, I'm taking time to do it because I don't want to have to do this level again. Yeah, come at me, bro. Oh, you're all that in a bag of icy chips. I got news for you. I got a hair, a blow hair dryer, and it's gonna melt you away, you little butt munch. Actually, I got a glass of ice Coca-Cola. Fall right into that, and I'll drink you. <sighs> yeah. Make like I'm doing my old intro. <sighs> okay, come on now. 
Get this crystal, dude. Yep, yep, yep. So, what's new with y'all now that I, while I'm taking time, taking an eternity to get through this level? I have, myself, I'm doing, doing alright. I, ho I hope you've been enjoying yourselves. For those who regularly tune into my channel and my content, I know it seems like I haven't really been updating much like some of the other projects, as far as the other projects are concerned. I do apologize for that, it's mostly because if I focus my energy on one project completely, I do a whole lot better, versus if I try to com if I continue trying to like do the same, or continue trying to divide my attention between four or five different projects on my Let's Playing channel, it's just, it gets a little messy. So that's why there's not a whole lot of Poke Park and there's not a whole lot of Pokemon League, Puzzle League. Additionally, I'd, I'd also like to say my apologies for those who have been looking forward to my Legend of Zelda Wind Waker Let's Play. I, that is still going to be a thing, I'm still going to do it, it's just, it's going to take me a little time to get to it because I honestly just want to finish up some of these projects first. I actually talked about this in the failed recording I had of Bomberman Hero, but uh, well, well, I guess we'll just talk about it now. Anywho, that will be getting underway as soon as I... I think I'm probably going to try and finish up Bando 2 first, because I'm, I'm doing pretty good clearing through that. I'm almost finished up with Hailfire Peaks. I'd say I want to... I'll start it right after I do Bomberman Hero here, but honestly, there's not too many parts left of this, and I'll still have, like, freaking three or four projects going on that I really want to go ahead and have finished before I get started. Come on, you stupid. Oh, you jerk. Oh, well, that's what I get from... Taunting the poor, taunting the giant ice ball. I can imagine the major headache poor Bomberman's gonna have. Getting hit with all these nasty giant chunk ice rock chunks, these boulder-sized rocks. Man, these ice boulders, man, I'm telling you, these ice boulders just need to get the heck out of my way. Okay, yeah, that was that probably wasn't a thing. That probably I shouldn't have even tried that. What, what are you thinking, dude? I would like these fans to stop farting on me. Seriously, fart fans, go away. I want to travel this level freely, and you're just you're detonating on me, and you're preventing me from doing what I want to do. Can you, can you please? Thanks, thanks. I'm glad you could just do one little job and die for me. I know it's a bit much to ask, but you know what? You are sane for doing it. Oh, great. Another one? That's right, you stoop. Come here. That's right. Come to Papa. Yeah, you fall to the ground, dummy. Ha! Eat it. Oh, in case you're wondering, no, you can't destroy them. If you're if you were like, why don't you just bomb them, blast the bomb? Can't you just like destroy them and, and make them explode? You know, make them explode, make them explode themselves. No, you cannot. It, it, they are indestructible pieces of garbage who have to have the ability to home in on poor Bomberman. I, I just that's still even now that bum fuzzles me. I just can't believe that crap. But they, the, the game developers of Bomberman Hero, I, here I was praising them earlier, and now I'm gonna, like, crap on them again. I'm like, you stupid idiots. Why do you have to make these stupid things? Like, who in their freaking right mind made these? You sicko. Who, who's the sicko that did this, man? Who did this? Who did this? It, 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 this is torture. Actually, this is probably torture for y'all watching. My gosh. This is like the freaking roller coaster level where I, I spent like an eternity. Oh yeah, sure, you defy physics and go right through the wall. Thanks! Good to know that you can do that, but I can't. Yeah, that's real fair. Dude, I'm... Okay, fine, I'll go underneath you. I'm getting there. I'm getting those crystals. You ain't... You are not stopping me. The only thing that's gonna stop me are these torpedoes, probably. That and the giant chunk of rock. Oh, great. Alright, ease it back. Ease it back. Forward. Ease it back. Ease it back. Ease it back. There we go. Okay. Oh, the curse, of, the curse of being OCD and having to collect everything, like seriously. I envy those who can just like literally plow through levels, such as my brother. My youngest brother, I should say. Like seriously, I'll sit there and watch them and I'll, I'll be like, okay, I gotta go to the other room because you're, you're driving me crazy, missing all these goodies that you could be picking up. Like, I mean, I can, well, I can, <clears throat> I can still enjoy a game playing it, not getting 100% of everything, but I'm so like... When I play the games, I have to, like, try to get 100% of everything, even if it doesn't, like, change... <clears throat> Excuse me, the ending of the game, I'm gonna get hit again. <laughs> okay. That was, that was really lucky, actually. 
like, okay, I guess I'll, I'll make this a question in the video, because, you know, why not? There's, noth there's nothing of entertaining value going on other than me going, oh, 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 an ice ball, an ice rock, you know, an ice boulder, man. How do you guys like to play your games? Do you, whenever it comes to collectathons or achievements, unlockables, can you just go through the game and beat it and not even give two flying farts as to whether or not you 100% it? Or are you a type of person that once you play through a game, you have to absolutely get 100% of everything, clear everything. I think this is everything. I'm not going to go plowing through again looking at looking through all the little like tidbits. Pretty sure we got the score. Let's get out of here. But yeah, in the comments below, let me know. What type of player are you? Yeah, all right. I did it! And I'll never have to do it again. Booyah! All right, you got... Burp, excuse me. That's a sign that I need to quit. Thank you for watching. Love y'all bunches. Please don't let your tails flap. And in the next part, we're going to continue on to Area 2 into the deep depths of the snowy mountains. See you next time. Peace out.